we are still here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I want to thank Chris Lukup, Oliver Knott, and the whole team at Shark Bike Communications. It's been a great time here, but I think it's time to head to San Fran where we visit Zenzo of Tozawa's Tanks. Going to Tom Byers' house. I'll see you later. Today, we are out collecting manzanita with legendary aquascaper and legendary collector of manzanita and all things hardscape, Tom Barr. Found some good pieces here. They're just everywhere. Look at this piece. Nice and swirly right there. Really awesome. Let's go find some more of these and bring them home. Look at that. It's just everywhere. There's a nice piece right here. Right there. All right? Just take off a little twigs and you'd be good. Other stuff we have is, you know, the, the wood like this. Also usable. But little stuff like this is what I'm looking for. You use a lot of the single twigs and make a, a big, big, big piece out of it. So very useful. Check this one out, right? Looks like exactly like the one I have at home um, in my tank. So just cut off the little pieces here. You wanna leave the bigger, bigger, fatter ones. I think that'll look great with some moss tied to it or some Anubias, but uh, let's keep on collecting. So I think this is what the bloom looks like from the manzanita. Um, comes off right off the leaf here. Let me let me pick that up for you. You see that there? It's just attached to the leaf like that. I think it's quite beautiful. Looks like a pair of test. Look at this piece right here. It's like anything with practice you get better at it you're faster you, you see more it's kind of like an obvious thing it's like oh i don't have to sit and think and ponder i just do it and you know okay that's where that's going to go and all right yeah and it was like that with you know aquascaping with like mike and jeff sinski we did certain things together it's kind of like, oh yeah 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 oh yeah mm -hmm. oh no i can't do that and less was said and more was understood you know it's like that with a lot of artists i think yeah. They kind of know where it's going, what it's going to do, and um, you, know, you just kind of know. It's like there's this, you come to, even if you come from all different sorts of uh, paths, you end up in a lot of the same spots. Like, 
okay that's that's what I've come to the same conclusion from independent independently and the similar confusion conclusions not confusions that's something <laughs> else yeah see i mean why have an e gloomy waste your damn fish tank <laughs> when you can do that and get the essence everything you need right there and that's a lot easier to care for that's a lot easier to care for than a fish tank yep <laughs> why waste your fish tank on that I don't get it. If I was a flower growing wild and free, all I'd want is you to be my sweet honeybee. And if I was a tree growing tall and green, all I'd want is you to shade me and be my leaves. Oh man, we're back at it. We're here at Ocean's Aquarium. Let's take a look around because this is my favorite store here in San Francisco. <laughs> Alright, so here's a little section of the store. This is a nice little hexagon tank with uh, crystal reds. It's exactly the same as we left it here about nine months ago. Very cool. Um, next we got the rummy nose tank that's on the bottom here. Nice giant val, some crypts. Uh, a lot of paleo everywhere. I'm not sure if I said that right, but it's like looks like some washer tank. Here we got some nice looks like black neons. But lots of lots of snails. Got a pleco right there. Right in the center. Probably not too good looking right now, but there's some snails. A bunch of Malaysian chump snails. All of neurites. Really, really awesome tank. These guys, no water change. Actually, a lot of these tanks are just no water change. Just really, really deep substrate. Look at that. Look how deep that substrate is. And supposedly, these fish have been in here for, I think, 20 years, I think they said. Love them. It's absolutely beautiful. The top is just like it's where it's at, the bird's eye view. That's the best view right there. Lots of sawasrutang or pelia. Pretty sure that's pelia right there. So more rounder tip. Here's some more tanks right here. You gotta appreciate these for what they are. It's just the tanks are old, but man, are they are they beautiful? Got some angel fish here. Keep on moving. Don't want to trip over anything. Uh, dwarf aquarium lilies with some angelfish and some rose lines, some Congo tetras. Yeah, he has a lot of the floating rocks that he made himself. It's lava rock, but inside of it there's styrofoam. Uh, but when there's no styrofoam in it, he ties the fishing line on it. So, very cool. was a shot at Tom Barr's house. Thank you for Tom Barr to, for collecting rocks with us. God <laughs> I want to thank Tom Barr for showing us where the good wood is. Uh, he was a nice guy and we went out to dinner and it was fantastic, very lovely family. Uh, so thank you Tom Barr for having us. 
We are in Napa Valley today, heading over to Backyard Aquatics. I don't want you guys to miss this. It's gonna be good. Thanks to Tom's lovely family, and I wish to visit him again. Uh, hopefully this is not the last time, and uh, I want to collect some more manzi. Manzi, manzi, manzi. I want to thank Zenzo from Tozawa's Tanks. Thanks Zenzo for having us over. If you guys don't know who Zenzo Tozawa's Tanks is, he's as big as this mother trucker right here. And we'll see you on the next one.